Are we back yet? Did we go to sleep? Yeah, you got, got Scooby. not a lot of battery on here. Oh, well. All right, so we found our gaskets. <clears throat> Finally got all the gaskets we need. So, except for the two gaskets here, everything else had to go fine. We're okay. <laughs> so this is the cork that goes in there that seals the seal. So, when you put that in there like this, It looks like it's a little wired. It looks like it's wadding up in here and not sealing correctly. There we go. See, that's why you have to put that lip back on there. There we go. And you see this appears to fit in there. That one does not. Barely too big. So you have to make that fit. Alright, no more interruptions. We'll be back. Done. Which one are we cutting? Cut the big one? The big one getting cut? Not the small one, the big one. Yeah, the washer goes on there. We might have a washer. It's good to we'll walk you up. Where's that big washer? Ah, it doesn't fit. Dang. That'd make it so much easier. Nothing's easy around here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, place I do it the old-fashioned way. Figure it out. Yeah. So I got a wash, I, I just push it in until it goes all the way in and tighten it down. See, I can't do that, so I just have to come out a little bit. And, Pretend we know what it is. No. Yeah, it's fine. Sight reference. Hmm. Oh, it's so sleek I could do a better job. Just what I bought. You just have to go by this way. I could put a dial indicator on it. <clears throat> size did you want? Uh, like, about like that? Well it seemed like it was about a thou to two thou off. Okay this one is just it's under two and a quarter it's uh, 225. This one over here is at uh, 300. So 75 thou difference. Take off 75. Soft. Not like cast iron. All right, what do we got now? I don't know. No. Instrument will tell us. Smaller. Forty-five. Still a little more to go. Point off. Mm -hmm. Maybe one line. <clears throat> Ten. Twenty. Where's my fog going? Yeah, I think it's still in there. This one likes to poke me. It tries to poke me, but that's right through my arm. Oh. This is a good 
gel to jam my finger device. Shut. Is that what you wanted? I think so. You sure? Yeah. I didn't measure it yet. How far off is it? Oh, exact. It's uh, 225. What number do we want? I think we are at 224. We want 225. We got 225. It's a good thing I knew what I was doing. Okay, this here we'll make sure it's perfectly flat. So it seals nicely. It only matters right here on the inside edge. See those rough ass scrape marks in there? Yeah. Those are oil leakage areas. Hmm. See they're getting smoother? Mm-hmm. That means it won't leak as much. <clears throat> you won't mind that, will you? No. See, they're getting less and less of them, so. My bike's never been much of a leaker. I mean, it leaves a few drops, but... You just put oil in it. There's oil in it. There you go. A little bit smoother? Mm-hmm. How about that side? Uh, that side doesn't matter, does it? Oil's oil. But it's the flat side that's making the seal, right? All these areas here go there. See the machine marks in there? Sandwich everything together, every surface has to be good. The seal area is already that thick on this, that much. Everything else doesn't mean nothing. It's a little 30 second of an inch right there, so it matters mm. on the inside edge. Out here, this has to be flat because when the sprocket goes against this, it has to be flat. Just like the sprocket has to be flat, it rarely is. <coughs> That's why these things are built in leakers, because everything has to be perfect and they never are. All right, I think that looks pretty good. All right, we'll go clean this up. Be back. Is the light on? Yes, it is. Is the red light on? I can't <clears> see. <throat> it is. This here fits in there now, see? Yep. Lots of clearance. Shrinking tool. Yeah, on the shrinker. Yep, there you go. Fits. It's a good thing that fits because we needed it. <coughs> yeah. Okay. What else have we got now? Oh, some more issues. You have other issues? <laughs> yeah, you have a lot of issues. Drain plugs. What's wrong with you? Okay, where's your issue? Issue solver at? Mm, this box, hopefully. Is it in this box right here? <coughs> Oversized bearings. <coughs> what size bearings do you want? We don't know yet whichever size fits. Whichever size fits. These say they're four tenths over. Those look bigger. Those cost a fortune. These are minus five tenths. Wow. You didn't know V twin had negative size bearings, did you? Why would they? Because they can't measure with a squat. Oh, they're not supposed to be. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know, it says negative. Yeah, but they probably didn't write that. Looks like your handwriting. That looks like something I wrote? Yeah. Oh. You don't think I would care if they were undersized, do you? <laughs> How many bearings does it take? Enough. <clears throat> my studio ever at? <clears throat> oh, I'm gonna get sick now. What's that? Uh, it's a virus. It's just, there's nothing to start this virus. 
And you just fed Scooby too, so now he's going to get sick. I think it says Doritos. Just the Doritos did it? We're going to blame it on those? Yeah. Those are Doritos. You're choking on Doritos now? Yeah. Okay. I don't normally eat those, so, you know. There's a good reason for that. Yeah. They make you choke. Uh -huh. Especially a big bag like that. They make smaller bags, you know. Yeah, but not not at that liquor store. Oh. So they get you, you, you think it's like a dollar eighty nine. you get up there and they're like three something, you're like, what the hell, it's the wrong price. But you're already standing there like a fool, so you just pay for it and you leave with the oversized bag of Doritos. <clears throat> Alright. <laughs> they got it down pat. Okay. <laughs> yeah, they do. Okay, look at this. There's, I'm probably betting there's a lot of ways to put these bearings in, huh? You could grease them up first and slide it in. Do it that way. It's gonna be real greasy then. But you're just seeing if they fit, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm, there's no grease. Feels like it's good sized man. Yeah, those are the uh, oversized ones, huh? These are not the undersized ones, no. These are the these are four tenths over. Yeah, I figured I'd need oversized bearings. Yeah, I think those are probably going to be okay. <clears throat> yeah, I'm thinking those are, those are going to work for us. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what noise I keep doing. Uh -oh. We got some. I, got one, I have one burn. How many you got? There's uh, five. Oh, there's more burns? Six, seven, eight. Twenty-three? Was that how many it takes? I have no idea. It takes as many as it takes. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure though there's 44. Oh. Give or take, like one or two, probably. Well, that's just on the one side. Then you got 22 more here and 22 over there. Okay, so now we get that figured out. We need to get the uh, installation tools going here. Okay, where's your, uh, your seal? Uh, it's right there. I need a hammer, huh? Plastic hammer? What are you thinking, a beetle or a big hammer? Are you thinking a heathen? I think you're going to get one of your special Tetra tools and use the hammer. I use both at once? Yeah. Ooh, that's fun. <laughs> All right. Now you put the steel along, which would be this way. Yep. The wire on the inside. Huh? Or you can put it in this way where the seal actually holds the oil in the training. Oh really? I thought the wire part went on the inside. What wire part? Oh, it doesn't have that. That's uh. There's a wire, but you can't see it. Yeah, like this one. Is it? This is a heavy duty seal. Mm. Which side is the wire on? It's on the inside. Yeah. Okay. See, I got this installation tool right here. See that? Your finger. It's called a fingernail. <laughs> My finger's too big to go in there. But then my fingernail's too big too, it keeps pulling out the other side. <clears throat> it's like putting on a tire, see? But just mini. Look at that. Boom. Wow. Look at that. What's that sitting there? Um, what's what sitting where? That's a cork. That's a seal. Okay, now we know this thing's going to leak like a sieve, right? Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. It didn't leak before, actually. Yeah, so it had to. It had no seal on it. Where's your other seal at? Uh, probably in there. Might as well do everything at once while we're doing this, right? You can do that? I can attempt to do that. I don't think that's the right There you go. <clears throat> There's that snot bugger on there. Oh. That's got the virus for sure. Yeah, look at that special tool. So 
They put away the parts. The tool thing, didn't they? <clears throat> yeah. A little cleaning fairy. You're either gonna gotta put shoes on or s sweep it. Nah. Nah. You just step on it. I didn't it. say it stayed in the foot. I just said it stepped on it. Like yeah. If yeah. It, if it stayed in the foot, then it would get. It wouldn't be there no more. Yeah, it would go somewhere else in your shop. Yeah, you'd move it around. <laughs> yeah, see, this is made to go in here, so see, it sends off of that. Mm-hmm. It's gonna go in there like this. Mm-hmm. You just kind of push on it right here. Goes like that. Every center. You go down. Tugs. Ow! It's tight. You pull it out. It's factory recessed in there where it belongs. And it might be compressed in there pretty tight. Even with all those little grooves? Uh, it's, it's below those grooves now. So mm. That cork might be squeezing on the other side. Uh -oh. mm. Now as long as this still moves, which it does, see how it moves? Yes, I do. So that means your bearing can spin freely, huh? It means it's not jammed up in there. Well, if you didn't cut that cork, you'd have a problem. Oh yeah, it would be binding up. Yes. I've had those issues. It does wear in though. Eventually, I bet. But there's some burnt up cork in there, huh? Yeah, that's all right. It's burnt <clears throat> Got these pieces. Back and make sure it's all the way down. Two tons of pressure will be enough. That's four thousand pounds. Really? Yeah. You didn't know it. A Ford F three fifty just drove over the top of this case. You didn't know that. <laughs> Now I do. See, that turns nicely. Okay, there you go. That part's handled. What are these here for? I don't need those. There's birds right there. What somebody, about uh, somebody bird my table up? What about these? Uh, what about them? You wanted me to bring them over here. Oh. It's right there. It's that one right there. It's a small one though. See, that's not hardly light. It's not even worth mentioning. Mm, yeah. Dinky one like that. It doesn't even count. Probably even feel those. No. See, somebody put a big burr right here. Man. Feel that? Somebody did that. Yeah. See that? That's a capital fence around here. <coughs> yeah, somebody wasn't paying attention when they were doing something and my blocks are getting damaged because of it. Look at that big bird they came in. Do maintenance on my table soon. It's hard to do flat work when things aren't flat. Mm -hmm. That's getting heavy. Just slide over enough for me over there. There you go. Flat surface now. Mm -hmm. Look at that. I don't think it's flat. Okay, this one does the same thing. Except there's a problem on the new bikes. Mm -hmm. It used to be you, you can press them down 50 thou, but on the aftermarket clutch gears now they don't cut this deep enough. And if you go down 50 thou below, it crushes the seal and doesn't work. And if you put it in like that, that's wrong. Yeah. It has to go in like this. So now instead of using the fancy side, we use the uh, flat side. Oh. Like that. And then we see if we can see that gear's not flat either. See how uneven it is? That's going to burr up my table. Let's go to the 
So you see it when you bend it down. See there's a little bit more room in there, but not much. Mm -hmm. So you want to make sure the seal does not bottom out against the inside. So I'm going to leave it flush. It's just some burrs on it. It's a good call. I can go in there and crush it in there deeper, but see, if you go in there that much deeper. It's not flat. It's that seal up against. Be, it's going to be up in the inside of there and not work very well. So we don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. So even though I made it correctly, like Harley said, it's incorrectly made now because things change over the years. Specialty junk. So you have to make another tool eventually, huh? Yeah. I'll just flip it over. <laughs> I mean, there's another one right there. A different one. Hmm. All kinds of weird tools in here. Sometimes I even remember what they're for. Hmm. Okay, now, green Loctite. Where's my green Loctite? Uh, that's a red bottle. That's green Loctite. Really? Yeah. What about their green? Oh. 290. That's confusing. It says 290. It says green, but it's a it red says bottle. Says capillary penetrate. Some people don't know capillary and penetrate are the same thing. Isn't that Spanish? So there you go. See that? See a little drip right there? That's enough, huh? Look at that. In the right spot. Try to go all the way around and find any void it doesn't like. I'm going to go inside the seal though. So you see it go all the way around, you know you got enough on there. <coughs> this looks like a two dripper. Uh, that's about a two drips on one thing there, that's too much. See that suck in there? Mm -hmm. It'll run all the way around. Just got that suck right there and it'll run all the way around. You know, this thing over here is a piece of crap with leaking everywhere. And it really wasn't. So now we go in here and do the same thing here. So. See how it spreads around? Mm-hmm. Did they go all the way around yet? I think not. I think it did. It looks like the bottom part is dry. Yeah, it looks a little shiny right there. No, oh, it's shiny, you can see it. Yeah, now I can see it. Yeah, it's done. So it'll sit up overnight. It locks, it does its job. Okay, this one over here, we're waiting for it to go wherever it wants to go to. Right now it appears to be uh, staying local. Not wanting to go further around, which means it's soaking in and doing its thing. A little more in there. And eventually it's going to go someplace else. See, it's starting to run down over here, so. Hmm. So if it, if it winds up down here, we're good. If it never gets there, that means it's, it's being used somewhere else. This one's over, it's over here right now. This side over here doesn't appear to be going past that hole right there. Well, that's that real bad area right through there in the case. Mm-hmm. So, let's just mainline it right to it. Oh, it's moving now. <coughs> yeah, it's got some excess in there now. See, now it's running down the hill. So, I'll just leave it sitting like that. And we'll let it go all the way where it wants to go to. And if we need to put more on it, we will. And it'll set up overnight and dry. Whatever it soaks into will dry. On the top, it'll just stay liquid. But that'll seal up any of those little cracks and bad areas that you had. So it looks like it's now down to about here on this side over here. Looks like all this other stuff is kind of soaked in. 
It's made it to about four o'clock on the bottom. It's over here. It's making a run for it. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna do I'll put one more drip in there. Oh, a different color, jade. Can I use oh, wrong one? That one won't go in. Suck. It'll just stay there. Hmm. Why? It's, it's, it's not capillary. Hmm. It's not penetrating. Yeah, the right one. See, this one's real thin. That one's real thick. Okay. It's like watching grass grow. Mm -hmm. So tomorrow, I'll bring your nut in for the clutch. <clears throat> we'll see if you need to seal on it. Okay. You want me to come tomorrow? Uh, or whenever you come. I can come tomorrow. I can. I can work on this tomorrow. I can work on something important. This is pretty important. Not to me. <laughs> but it's taking up space on your bench. It is all of my bench right now. I did notice that I have a problem. My workbench is full of crap. <laughs> I, I, you notice that too, huh? Yeah. Good deal. I'll come after work tomorrow. Okay. We're going to work on something else now. Okay. We're gonna watch this. We're watching who's going to win. <laughs> I think the right side is going to win. Will it go uphill? There's a lot of excess. The momentum might carry it. It might, might get some extra momentum. But it does have a lot of obstacles to get through. Yeah, it looks like it's wet all the way down to here on that side, too. I think it's just about meeting right now. <coughs> I think if you look at it, it's already met in the middle. Okay. See? So I think it's already meeting down there in the middle already. Oh, you're right. Yeah, somebody put too much in there, see? It'll just be a bitch to get out later. Oh, well. <laughs> so now we just let it sit like that. We'll come back tomorrow, or next week, next year, and we'll figure it out. So it'll do what it wants to do. There's some long studs over here. It doesn't sit flat. It doesn't take a year for that it's, stuff it's, to set it's up. It's all going to wind up in this corner over here when I get to come in tomorrow. <laughs> all right, that's it for that one.